Picture this. You wake up in the morning. You make yourself a nice cup of tea and you get ready to face the day. But then, the zombie apocalypse hits. <laughs> you have to hurry. So you take your best backpack and you fill it with all the supplies you can carry. Just how long can you survive if all you have is said backpack? Today, we will look for the answer to this question as we tackle the Backpacker Challenge. Oh boy, I can't believe we managed to escape. <laughs> Too bad all we got for our names is our sweet little backpack and this incredible trip. <laughs> but anyways, hello everyone and welcome to Project Zomboid. More specifically, the Backpacker Challenge. What is today's objective, you may be asking? Well, you see, we have a backpack. Filled to the brim with supplies, everything that you could ever hope to need. But what's that? Why do we have so many supplies at the very start? Are we cheating? No, <laughs> no, we're not cheating because this backpack is all we're gonna get. We're not gonna get anything else. We're just gonna use this backpack and nothing more. In fact, all of these supplies, we can't grab them because they're contaminated. They're completely contaminated. They're dirty. If we take those items, we will die. So yeah, I wanted to see just how long I could survive without looting, without any items, just with the items within our backpack. As you can see, we have antibiotics, antidepressants, water bottles, five water bottles to be precise, beta blockers, bottles of disinfectant, box of 38 special round, can opener, can of oats, can beans, can chili, can corned beef, can fruit cocktail, can spaghetti bolognese, a crowbar which we're gonna equip to our back right now, duct tape, a flashlight, a hammer, a digital watch which we're gonna equip right now, a hammer, a needle, radio, which actually has the emergency broadcast system, two ropes, a gun, a saw, scissors, screwdriver, a spiked baseball bat, a sterilized bandage, a survival knife, and a suture needle holder. That's all we're gonna get. And we have to survive with just these supplies for as long as we possibly can. So let's just get right into it. And this crowbar is very funky. That's probably not what it's supposed to look like, but okay. In fact, I'm gonna use the baseball bat. Or actually, I'm gonna equip it right here. Oh, but by the way, we're followed by our protagonist, Backpack. Anyways, we are Backpack, a weightlifting instructor who is a pacifist, prone to illness, slow healer, smoker, Cowardly, Weak Stomach, Scullion, Light Eater, Low Thirst, Organized, Strong, Fit, Strong Back, and Nutritionist. Those are our perks. And you might have realized that we are a smoker, but we don't have any sort of smokes here. In fact, we don't have any fire starter either. Yeah, we forgot a fire, a fire starter. Urgh, sir, excuse me. I'm in a little bit of a problem right now because we don't have any kind of fire starter. And that's pretty bad. But it's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Who needs a fire? We lived around like a million years without even figuring out how to make a fire. We don't need no fire. That's for those uh, fancy schmancy humans there. We're survivors, we don't need no fire. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a lighter, I don't have cigarettes. No way to fuel my addiction, because I decided to, apart from, you know, having the regular, I also wanted to see if we could lose the trait, because it is a dynamic trait. I wanted to see if it would be possible to lose the trait. Which means that we should probably, we probably should have gotten something to deal with the stress, huh? I will be fine, let's just survive for a while. So yeah, looting is pretty much non-existent. 
So we're just gonna explore around. I'm not sure where we are, because we are playing with regular apocalypse settings. I believe we are in... Dixie, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's check out the surrounding area. Hello, oh, oh my god, oh my god, something is in my eye. Ah, oh, ah, oh, something is in my eye. Oh god, did I kill it? <laughs> oh my god, something is in my eye. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, okay, wait. Ah, ah. Okay, I think I, I think I got it out. Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, I don't know what it was. Oh, it felt horrible. It was like something sharp. Uh, oh god. Anyways, uh, let's, let's continue. We can't really loot anything, so... We're just gonna survive. For the time being, what I want to do is to clear out this... Area, this neighborhood. And some, sur some surrounding buildings. Just to make sure that we don't get attacked while we're just running away with just our little backpack. Hello, sir, how's it going? Hi, I like you, cut G. Simple pimple. It doesn't really matter, like, this one is not gonna do anything, so let's just take it off. Let's just get rid of it. We don't need no loot. Everything is probably contaminated, and if we take a single item, we're probably gonna die. So let's just go on without it. Hello, madam. How's it going? Ta-ta. Uh, we got another set over here. Yeah, I'm gonna clear out the surrounding area. Let's do a nice little kill test, shall we? Oh, hi! Looks like we got a party over here. Man, and to think we found a party event with chips and and soda and all of this cool stuff, and we can't take any of it. Bummer. Yeah, I think I know where we are. Yeah, 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 I think we are actually in Riverside. Yeah, I seem to remember these buildings. Okay, okay, okay. Riverside is not that bad. It actually is not that bad. Oh, hello, you are you a thief? Cool, you probably have some cool loot, which <laughs> I can't really get. Okay, there we go. We seem to have cleared the surrounding area. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. So now I want to check the northern section right over here. I want to check the surrounding buildings. Make sure we are completely safe. And we get a little bit of a home. I would like a building with two floors. So we can actually feel safe, because in single floor buildings, we can't really feel safe, as we are very close to the sets, and uh, I don't like getting kisses from the sets, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's not my thing. Oh, look at that, we got a nice little horde, let's take care of them. Okay, simple pimple. Let's check out... Yeah, we are in the middle of a bunch of buildings. That's why I think we are in Riverside. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I was last in Riverside. But okay, it seems relatively clear. That's pretty good. Okay, let's check out the Spifos and clear out the parking lot. But we're getting a little bit tired, a little bit hungry, and a little bit thirsty. So I think we're gonna take a break. Oh, look at that, a point sprinting. That's pretty cool. We're gonna take a break in here. No, we don't have a chair. Okay, we're gonna take a break in one of the houses. 
All right, and we're back. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna check the spiffos. Just to make sure that it's about as clear as it should be. Oh, whoa, whoa, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of sets. Okay, all right, that's uh, it's not very good. It's not very good, is it? Okay, let's see if we can get just a few, just a little few of them to, you know, follow us. Okay, okay, okay. It seems that the area is relatively clear. I only see a few zombies here and there. I'm gonna take them down. Okay, this place seems safe. Okay, good, good, good. Let's take down this guy. Hello, sir. How's it going? Ta-ta. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Anyone else? One zombie over there. A uh, little horde over here. Let's take it down, too. Oh, hello, whoa. Okay, that was uh, quite peculiar, but I guess I was playing. I was playing with the set, what can I say? Whoa, I did not expect that to happen. Yeah, the problem with cleaning them is the fact that we can't really use water from anywhere other than our water bottles. So, yeah... If we do have to clean the bandage, it's gonna be a bit of an issue, so in fact I'm gonna replace it and disinfect the wound. There we go. We got the wound disinfected with a little bit of our disinfectant, right here. Hopefully, that will make it so it heals relatively quickly. Oh, hello, madam. How's it going? Would you die for me? There you go. Anyone else inside? Nope, seems clear. Okay. Let's check the back. Uh, we got a police officer right around here. Okay, seems clear now. Okay, we got another horde right around here. We can take them down. In fact, I'm gonna do a little yell. Get them coming here, and we're gonna take them down here. Okay, that seems to be all of them. We are pretty dirty, but we can't really clean ourselves that easily, huh? So, yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna spend the night... Probably here in the police office. Yeah, what the heck are you doing there? Are we, is there any sound around? No. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> That girl was in the ceiling! What's on the ceiling? What were you doing on the ceiling, madam? Are you crazy? You were on the ceiling! Dang, she crazy, bro! She's very wacky! <laughs> okay, ah, uh, bummer, we're gonna have to replace the bandage, huh? Bummer, okay. Okay, hopefully... I mean, we did disinfect the wound already. So chances are it's not gonna get infected, but okay. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna spend the night right here in this jail cell. Okay, we can't really get in. Oh, can we pry it open? I think we can. Yeah, pry open. There we go, look at that! That's why we have a crowbar. Our nice little master key. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna spend the night here. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, everyone! Hello, good morning! Okay, it's time for a little bit of breakfast! We do have to change the bandage, but maybe we don't. I hope we don't. We're gonna eat a little something something. Let's see. We got some food right over here. We have to be careful on how much we eat. So, I think we're gonna eat a little bit of spaghetti. We're gonna open one. And we're gonna eat about half of it. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay peckish. We're only gonna eat when we really need it, because we need to survive for as long as we possibly can. But okay. Let's try not getting hit again, because that was a little bit dangerous. But before that, we have survived two days. Well, yeah, this is our second day and we have killed 86 zombies, alright. Time to keep going. I want to be able to find a place to make a base, you know? A place to shack up and survive for as long as we possibly can. But in order to find a place like that, we need a place with... Oh my god, look at that. Look at all that food! Ketchup, fries, burgers... Oh god, if only it wasn't contaminated with this terrible... Air. God, I could go for a spiff of burger right about now. But no, we have to be strong. If we eat one of those burgers, we're gonna die. And we don't like dying. Okay, so I think we should check the houses down here. We might be able to find the house with a second floor. If we can find that... We should be able to just shack up in there and survive. Okay, let's see. Bomber, there's single floor. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to keep going. Oh, maybe, maybe this one's over here, down south. Let's go check them out. Okay, we got a couple of sets. You know what that means. There we go, simple pimple. Uh, okay, let's check out this house right here. Bomber, it's another single story house, man. Ah, bomber. It's got a couple of sets, might as well take them down. Uh, okay, you got some stuff, but uh, again, I can't take any. Let's keep going. Any sets around here? Just a bunch of single story houses. Bummer, 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 bummer. Maybe over here. Worst case scenario, we can just take one of these houses, which is pretty... Oh, there we go! Ooh. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God, are you kidding me, man? Come on, man! You know what that is? That's a survivor home! Oh, God, man! I bet it has such good loot, but I can't take any of it! I can't take any loot off of it! Oh, God, why must you torment me, Project Zomboy? Why do you hate me? Oh, and you know what the worst part is? <laughs> the fact that we're gonna have to shack up here, because it's a Perfect base location. All of the doors and windows are locked. They're barred. And it's a second it has a second floor, so oh god, we're gonna have to sleep with the cool loot. Oh god, this is torture. Do we have any window that's not fully locked? No, we don't. Okay. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, okay, all right, we're gonna have to smash the window. Okay, now we go inside, and we close it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's turn on the lights, we have a little buddy here. Do we have any sets up here? Hello? Okay, this is empty. Empty. Oh, we got a zombie here. 
We got two. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we cleared the house. Now, I know we can't... Whoa! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I know we can't pick up anything, but let's just see what we're missing, huh? Okay, we got some canned food. Canned food. A camping hatchet, a sharpened stop sign, baseball bat, okay, okay. Ice cream, okay, okay. Not that much yet, you know, so... It's not that good of a house anyways. We got some antibiotics, you know, some supplies there. Uh, okay, okay, sharpened stop sign, okay, okay, anything else? Okay, this one sucks. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna be fine because this survivor home sucks. <laughs> the only cool thing are the, are the sharpened stop signs, which are very slow to use, and the hatchet, which pretty bummer. So actually, actually, I'm not mad. I'm not sad at all. <laughs> no, I'm okay with this. Okay, this is gonna be our nice little home. We're gonna be here for a while. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup, and we're just gonna get rid of these corpses. All right, now that we now that we cleaned the corpses, I think we got ourselves a nice little base. This place is actually pretty cool, and I also got this little this little bookcase to block the entrance. So that way, I have a sort of pseudo door, an entrance and an exit that I can take at any given time. So, all right, we have officially started this challenge. We still have plenty of supplies, so I think we'll be able to survive for um for a while. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. We even got a point in Nimble, that's amazing. Alright, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.